Phew, there are so many holiday sets dropping, new things dropping all the time. So I picked up a few and I wanna share with you. We're gonna do a try on swatch party type thing today. Let's get into it. and welcome into probably the first of many of these videos because it seems like so much is dropping right now and I want to try these out for you to tell you what might be good, what might be worth purchasing, what might not be so good. So I have several things in front of me. Some of them I already have on my face and you're gonna see little clips of those. And I also have quite a few lippies that I want to swatch for you so that you can see those. So if you've never been to my channel before, I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you, I hope that you do decide to subscribe. My name is Melissa and I'm 54 years old and I am an avid beauty junkie. So we're going to get into these, but first we always talk about what I have on and a couple of things. So if you want to skip over, there's a timestamp right here where you can skip over to just the reviews of the product. So first but we're going to talk about my outfit, what I have on today. I just wore a pair of black slacks or black sketcher kind of pants that I love. I live in these pants during the winter time. I have a tank top on that I really like that's got the cross across the chest, which I think is just so cute. And then I just have a really lightweight duster length, kind of comes right around the knees, duster length cardigan, and this is in burgundy, comes in a bunch of colors. I love these. They're so lightweight and they're perfect for fall. Then for a necklace, I have on a herringbone necklace that I purchased from the Lifetime Jewelry Company. You're supposed to be able to shower in this, wear this all the time, wear it to bed, and it never have any tarnishing or anything like that. It's really easy to register, and that's what you do in case anything were to ever happen. This company has been around since the early 80s, so I really have been enjoying them. Also, I have on just a fun dangle earring with a rectangle um, gold dangle angle and I just think these are so much fun. I'm somebody that really does love their jewelry. Now let me tell you I've had so many people ask me what I store my jewelry in and it's a big armoire that hangs on the wall. It's a huge thing. So I want to um, just put a snippet of that in here so that you guys can see it really quickly. It's a beautiful armoire and I have had this for years and years and I love this thing. So that's what how I store my jewelry because I get asked that all the time. So any of the makeup that I wear today, all of my rings, my fingernail polish, everything that I have on will be listed and linked below, including the shirt that I just talked about, my clothes that I just talked about, and that's in a numbering system. I put up a number here on the screen that will correspond to whatever I'm talking about. Don't worry about remembering the name, the color, anything of the product. Just go down into the description box. Remember that you liked number three. Next to number three will be the name and the color, size if I'm talking about clothing, anything like that, and you will be able to shop that way. So that is our introduction. Let's get into having all kinds of fun deciding if this brand new makeup is worth it or not. So I have on my eyes the eyeshadow palettes that are from Tarte. These are the new releases that came in the Tarte wardrobe. So you've got the one that says Gilded and you've got the one that says Glamour. So the one that is Gilded, it has a little bit more of your earthy tones in it. It has some burgundies in there. Sorry about blinding you. This is kind of a chrome situation here. So the colors in here are so pretty. The only colors that I wore out of this are these three right here today. I put a little bit of that color that is the shimmer right on my lid. And then these two together I used as a transition color. These colors right in here, this whole row right here, are your beautiful pinks and your beautiful purples and really, really pretty colors. I truly don't remember them having this good of quality in their palette. Now in their in their holiday palettes. Now this one is the glamour one And this is the one that I mostly have on my eyes today So I put this icy blue all over my lid I use this other blue as darkening up the outer V and a tiny bit underneath But mostly I use this color underneath just to kind of smudge out everything these are gorgeous colors as well. They're just a really pretty array of colors this time. And surprisingly, I am really quite pleased with the mattes. Usually you'll get a palette that has nice mattes or it has nice shimmers or you know, you'll find some hits and misses, but I really am quite pleased with both of these. And this is really the only time that I've worn them. So there might be some in here. I'm not gonna blow smoke at you and tell you that there's not any in here that might be misses as far as individual 
little shadows, but I've been really excited by what I've tried so far. And like I said, it is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Now, one of them that I am not wearing today, but I have been wearing this a lot. I actually went and took a trip to my daughter's and I wore this all weekend. This is all I took. This is the Precious Gems palette from Tarte and it has six different colors in here. And they're supposed to be like, I think four of them are new. One of them is a new shimmer or a new highlight. And then the other one is not, not so new. I absolutely love Tarte's Amazonian Clay blushes. They're so pretty. They last a long time. They're just a really good quality. And I really have liked them for forever. This is a very buildable formula, but as you can see, I just swatched this once. So it's not necessarily going to be too bold for you to be able to get it a really nice flush on your cheeks softly. So I think this is so pretty and I really have been enjoying having this. And what I'm wearing on my lips right now is the new trio from Buxom and this is in their dolly color or, um, different dolly colors. Okay, first the dolly danger, which is what I outlined my lips with. Let me see if I can get this dry. I outlined my lips with that, which is such a pretty color. And then the next one is the powerful plump. And this one is in dolly fever. So this is kind of a balm lipstick hybrid. I really didn't get a lot of color out of it, but it's got that same cooling effect that you get from the Buxom lip glosses, which is what this one is. And of course this one is in Dolly. So I had a lot of fun with these and I love Buxom for their whole line. As far as any of their lippies go, I really love their lipstick. I think their lipstick is so innovative because you also get that plumping factor with it. So this is really pretty and I'm really glad that I got it. And I'm sure that they're gonna have other ones come out. I really don't need more Buxom lip glosses, but I did wanna try this trio because I didn't have any of these. Now next, I was so excited to see that Patrick Ta is having another palette come out. Now, why I think this is so special Special is because normally his singles where you just get the blush and the cream blush together those are quite expensive but this palette when you work it out individually it's a little bit more it's a little bit less expensive excuse me so you get this cover that goes over the cream products which is great because it means that your powder products aren't going to get your cream products all gunky and yucky so i like that about all of his palettes they're great for that now he has in this one has put in a highlighter so this is a first for him. He's finally done highlighter, which I think is great. This is a very balm-like highlighter, cream highlighter. There is not a lot of color to that. As you can see, it's very clear, but you put it on and then it holds this powder on. Now, a lot of times in the past, he has always had you put the powder on and then the cut the cream on after it, which I think would probably work with his products because that's just the way he rolls. So I think it's so pretty to be able to just dap, pat that across and it just gives a beautiful dewy look to your cheeks. And then I will swatch the other ones for you. This one is kind of more along the lines of the neutral pink, which is so pretty, peachy pink. So we're gonna put the powder on like he tells you to, and then we're gonna put the cream on top of it. Now, what I find when you do that is it actually amplifies the powder product or it makes that powder product look more vibrant. I don't know how he does it so that it doesn't look cakey and nasty because we're told over and over again, never put uh, cream underneath powder, put powder underneath cream, but he does it backwards and it works. And I really love his powders. His creams are very creamy and yes, they're very nice, but his powders, they're so, and you saw me blow away, blow away the dust because his powders are so soft and you have to be really careful because they're pretty darn saturated as well. So we'll put this powder on first. This is kind of a true bluish pink. It's just so pretty. And then across it, we'll put the actual cream. Aren't they pretty? They're just so pretty. I think that putting that cream across the powder really does give it that dewy look and an amplified look, but it also seems to hold it on a little bit more and then your face doesn't look flat at all. I just think it's so pretty. So this for me, I got the one last year. I have several of his singles. The one last year, I 
absolutely love but i'm so glad to see that this highlighter is here really am excited about this release i couldn't wait to show you guys now another lippy kit that came out was from tart tart dropped all of their stuff really quickly this year but this four piece lippy kit i thought was really good value it has two of just the regular juicy lips so the two that i just pulled out of here this is called the um Mar maracuja juicy squad lip set um it says cofret alu I know I didn't say that right, but anyway, so the first one is called Ginger. I'm assuming, I haven't even swatched these yet. I'm assuming that Ginger is kind of a creamy, oh, it's pretty, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, so I thought it was going to be kind of a peachy kind of color, but it's more like a taupey brown color. Ooh, that's so pretty. And then the other one is called Cranberry. Let's see what that one is. And so these don't have any of that tingle or the, the lip plumping property. These are just a hydrating formula. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty too. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? That would go so pretty with what I'm wearing. Okay, those are really beautiful colors. I didn't expect them to be quite so pretty. And then the other two that they had on the other side, this one is a juicy lip balm. And this one is called, let's see, Cherry Blossom. So let's see what Cherry Blossom is all about. Now see, I would have thought Cherry Blossom would have more red in it. This does not look like it's got any red in it at all. Actually, it looks like it's got a very muted almost a lilac color oh my goodness i love that so this is going to have the the plumping effect to it and you're going to be able to get that out of this that one and then this one right here which is just called rose this is an actual lipstick that you twist up you don't do the you know the the pump on it so this one is more of a, a staying power oh my goodness oh that's so pretty okay i'm in love with this side <laughs> Of course you knew I would be so that's a very beautiful rose and then that lip gloss on top of it would be stunning So this is a set that I can say that I've tried the formulas before and absolutely loved them This formula that is the lipstick. That's more of a satin type lipstick. So so pretty very very pretty All right okay. moving on we're going to talk about the Clinique set That is the black honey set the new one first of all they give you five pieces in this i really truly thought that this was such a good value because five pieces of this normally one of these costs almost thirty dollars so let's talk about what we have in here first is a really good one of their automatic liners in their black you can use it in your waterline you can use it on your upper lash line and these are really good about their staying power i don't know about doing it in your waterline on the bottom whether or not it stay a really long time but i do know that when i line my upper lid with this on the waterline that it does stay a long time and then of course you have their clinique um this is the high impact mascara and you get a mini size of that and this is so many people's ride or die mascara i find that this is a really great mascara for lift and lengthening on your top lashes but i don't wear this on the bottom unless i get the waterproof formula because it does have a tendency to smudge on the bottom but not at all on the top doesn't smudge doesn't flake on the top so that's nice to be able to get those but for me the other three products in here are what i was really excited about so you get this new highlighter which is incredibly beautiful gold celebration pop so this is the cheek pop highlighter in gold celebration pop and i don't normally like gold highlighters but this one is so beautiful it's not like a bright gold it's more like a it's such a muted gold um almost like a champagne -y gold color and you can build it up or you can really wash it out but this is beautiful absolutely beautiful and i'm just gonna just i have to i have to just dust a tiny bit of this on so that you can see what it looks like and we can just check it out because i think this is such a beautiful beautiful highlighter let's just put this on and then on top of it we'll put the blush that they have in here i already have a lot of this kind of stuff on already but we'll go overboard and see what happens and then this is the black honey cheek pop from them and i have heard such amazing things about this about the color and i've been wanting to try this for such a long time i just hadn't gotten around to getting my hands on it so we're going to try it and yes i do have other blush on but let me swatch it for you first so you can see what it's like um just a oh my gosh just this beautiful um deepened 
your cheeks but better oh my gosh i don't even know how to explain that but it is just this beautiful wash of color so let me just pop some on and we will see what we get here it's so pretty oh man it's just pretty and the nice thing about their cheek pop is that the formula is such that again you don't get too much at once when you're very fair toned like i am it is hard sometimes because you can overdo so quickly but that that did not overdo at all it's just it's beautiful and i'm in love with it so i'm a blush idiot anyway but these are really pretty and then the last thing you get is the black honey balm i i don't think it's the lipstick it might be a balm but i can't because i can't read it because that little fine print no nope, ain't gonna happen this is just a beautiful balm that has a bit of wash of color but not too much again these colors they're really soft. They're really pretty. They're not necessarily meant to be a high shine color or a high intensity color. And oh, I just think they're so pretty. So yes, I did have something on before I actually put that on, but you can see how pretty the color is. And again, like I said, I think that this is such a good value for the money. Normally Clinique's products are fairly up there, but to get five products like this, it just seemed like a really good value to me. And I was really happy to see both the highlighter, the blush, and this lip balm come about in this kit. And then lastly is the set that I get every year. I don't care whether this has duplicates in it for me or not. I always get this because I like to show you guys what's in here. The Sephora Favorites Holiday Lip Kit. And this time it has, let's see, seven products in here, a couple of full-size products. So from Rare Beauty, you get a full-size lip gloss. And then from Charlotte Tilbury, you get a full-size pillow talk. And I actually didn't have a full-size pillow talk. So I'm kind of glad to get that. But I'm going to show you all of these. I'm going to swatch all of them so that you know, and I'll tell you all of the colors. So let me wipe off what I have on my lips right now. I am not going to swatch this one. And it is the Too Faced Lip Injection. Um, um, this is extreme. I don't like this formula. It is not for me, but I will pass this on in a giveaway. It is so intense on the lips that it's really hard for me to not have a sensory overload when I have it on, but some people absolutely love this. So more power to you if you love it. I think you're great. This one is from NARS in Orgasm. I hate their names, but yeah, they're not gonna go away from it anytime soon. So let me just try this one on. This is just their typical peachy pink. It is indeed a beautiful gloss, but I also find that that particular gloss, it doesn't really give you a lot of color. It's just a gloss. So whatever you put it over, it's gonna amplify that as far as shine. So let me swatch that for you on my hand. So we have swatches of them side by side. So you can see that it's really kind of a pretty peachy pink color there, but a lot of reflect and a lot of shine on there. This one is Urban Decay's Back Talk. And this is a color that they had before. This is the formula that is supposed to be hydrating. So I actually haven't tried this new formula yet. So I'm going to try this on. Okay, beautiful color, every bit as beautiful as it was before. This is extremely hydrating. Once you put it on your lips, you can start to feel it almost act like a balm. So this is a very glossy lipstick and it's very, very pretty. And yeah, this is one of my favorite colors that Urban Decay has ever done. Hooey, my lips are gonna pay for this. We're gonna try on Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. Great time to get this because this all by itself is really expensive, but you're getting a full one of these and you're getting everything else in here. So let's try this one on. This one is kind of a satin formula. It is very kind of a muted peach pink. So you're looking at a rosy peachy color. It's not a true rose. It's not a true peach. It's kind of in the middle. She went looking for kind of that perfect shade that just about any woman could wear that was medium to light. And that's what she came up with. This is iconic for so many women. For me, sometimes this pulls just a little bit too peach, but right now with what I had underneath, of course, it's really looking very good. And it's a nice satin formula. It does last a long time on my lips when I've had the smaller ones that I've tried before. So her lipsticks are good. They're just really pricey. So this is a great time for you to be able to try this. So the next one is the glossy lipstick or glossy i think it's glossy lipstick let's see rare beauties full size uh stay vulnerable glossy lip balm okay in nearly nude so it is considered a balm still 
I feel like these, let me show you really quickly here. I should have done that other one. So it's a lot like the NARS one and in, in as it doesn't have a ton of color in it, but this is such a lovely formula. And the gloss itself, it just, it's so hydrating and so nourishing. It feels a little bit thicker than other glosses without being sticky. And I love that about it. I have several of these colors actually. I don't have this color, but I love the weight of this because it does feel like it's gonna stick around longer. But what I like about it is that it's not got that tacky formula. When you put your lips together, you don't get that weird, you know, thing that goes between your lips. It's kind of gross. Anyway, I think this is so pretty and nearly nude. It's just such a universal pretty color. So definitely love that they put a full size of that one in so there. The last two are very red. This one is called, I'm reading it off the box, Anaheim Shine High Performance Satin Lipstick in Original Recipe. This is Gwen's signature color and it is a high shine lipstick. And let me just swatch it for you so you can see. It's that red that has a little bit of pink undertone to it. I have never tried any of these on. I stay away from red because it's just not my jam, but I'm willing to try this on for you guys. So here we go. This is pretty. Gwen normally wears this with a very subdu subdued eye. She just uses some black eyeliner normally and, um, and big lashes. So that's beautiful on her. Um, this is really outside of my comfort zone. It's probably something that I wouldn't go for this particular color. I don't mind wearing a red occasionally, but this is a little bit over the top, a little bit crazy for me, but it's a great way for you to try reds if you're, sh if you shy away from them. So the I final one I'm trying on is a matte trans lipstick in Vendetta from Pat McGrath Labs. I love Pat McGrath's little lipstick things, but they're so expensive. So this again, it's a great way to, for you to be able to try it. So let's swatch this one next to the other one. Okay, first of all, this is a very matte formula as you can see right there compared to the Gwen Stefani. And this one has more of a burgundy color in it, whereas the Gwen Stefani one is a bright red with a tiny bit of pink behind it. So let's try this one on. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like I said, I don't ever wear red, but this is beautiful. First of all, this formula is so comfortable. I'm, you know, I'm wearing it. It's a matte. I'm like, this is really, really comfortable. It feels like nothing on your lips. The color is super saturated. I like it better than the shiny formula from Gwen Stefani. And I think that I would, I would wear this one before I would wear the one over Gwen Stefani's just because I like this tone of this one better. This is like a true blue red that just about any woman can wear. Um, yeah, so this is really pretty. I really like it. However, I'm not super comfortable in it. So before I do my outro, I'm gonna go put something else on. So what I ended up putting on my lips was the duo from Tarte. That is the lipstick and then the lip plumping balm. I really like both of these formulas. It's a little bit darker than it normally would be because I did have the red on and red's a little bit hard to get rid of once you put it on. But this set ends up being really quite pretty. And and yes, I do feel like this is a good deal. I definitely feel like the new two palettes from them is a good deal. And I love the Buxom Trio. Absolutely adore the Clinique little set with the black honey and the blushes from Tarte. And last but not least, I'm absolutely in love with the new palette from Patrick Ta. Great colors this time. I thought he did a really great job. Loved having a new highlight in that. So that is it for today's vid video and to see the new releases. I hope that you did enjoy this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Do you guys want me to continue to try these out so that you can see whether or not they're gonna be any good? I haven't gotten any bombs yet. I'm sure I eventually will. But for right now, we've got some thumbs up on these and I hope that you did enjoy this. As we go, I'm gonna put up a video right here for you that you can take a peek at. I don't know what it will be exactly, but I'm going to put one up that you can go to next and watch. <laughs> go take a look at that. I love you guys so very much. Please take care of yourselves. Stay happy, stay healthy. Come back around in my next video. Love you much. Bye-bye, my friends.